Thank you, Madam Chair. We received a fatal error notification concerning the evaluation of the Caliphate uh, city of Medina Zahara, which is to be found on page uh, 86 of document INF 8 before and on page 41 of the French version of the same document. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm now presenting the e-commerce evaluation for the Caliphate city of Medina Thara in Spain. The text of this evaluation can be found on page 113 of the document INF 8B1. The Caliphate city of Medina Thara is an archaeological city uh, built in the mid 20th century by the Western Umayyad dynasty as the seat of the Caliphate of Cordoba. Located in the province of Cordoba in the autonomous community of Andalusia, uh, the property is enclosed by the city walls occupying an area of um, around 111 hectares. The city flourished for, for a short while but was then destroyed and an archaeological remains lay hidden uh, for nearly 1,000 years until rediscovered in the 20th century. To date, about 12 hectares, only 10% of the urban area, have been excavated, and this is mainly limited to the central area of the fortified palace and the great mosque. The knowledge of the urban structure of Medina Thara is therefore very schematic, but within the, uh, the walled enclosure, the organization of the city into three parallel strips running from north to south can clearly be seen. The central strip corresponds uh, to the fortified uh, palace situated on one of the highest level, which is buildings arrangement in terraces down to the mountain side. The eastern fringe constitutes the, the Medina itself, with two urbanized areas built on different designs and separated by stream. The smaller western fringe seems to have been occupied mainly by buildings belonging to the Caliphate state, along with small areas of a workers' house. The Medina Thara is outstanding testimony of a complete urban complex of a city in Europe and from a, an historical period in the whole western Islamic culture. In its evaluation, ECOMOS considered that the comparative analysis justifies inscription of this property on the World Heritage List, that the nominated property meets criteria three and four, and the conditions of integrity and authenticity. The boundaries of the nominated property and of its buffer zone are adequate, and the legal protection is in place in place uh, is also adequate. Ecomus considered that the legal protection um, is adequate, but then the development pressure in the buffer zone requires careful monitoring and mitigation measures regarding illegal settlements must be implemented. The main threat to the property are illegal settlement activities in the buffer zone and water dam uh, damage to uh, the limestone monastery. Ecomus also considered that the state of conservation of the attribute of this nominated property, while generally good, uh, differs from fair to complex. Some early intervention on the monument still require uh, remediation work and other conservation works are, ne are also necessary. It comes considered that the management system is generally adequate, however appropriate and timely funding must be secure for the property. In conclusion, ECOMOS recommends that the Caliphate city of Medina Thara in Spain be inscribed on the World Heritage List on the basis of criteria three and four. ECOMOS further recommends that the state party give consideration to the following, securing the appropriate and timely funding to the property, clarifying the time frame for implementing, implementation of the mitigation on the edges of the illegal settlement with hard and soft landscaping, carrying out special monitoring on the portion of Las Pintas beyond Guadalmalato River, uh, River Canal, where urban plots are still empty, with view to avoiding development of at least ensuring development has minimal impact. 
improving the monitoring by developing indicators which directly measure the state of conservation, elaborating in detail the evidence of the evolution of conservation um, doctrine and criteria in the baseline document about the site, and updating the approval operation plan of Medina Thara in order to ensure the preservation of the site. And finally, it comes recommend that the name of the property be modified in order to keep the historical name um, and therefore become the caliphate city of Medina Zara. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, please, all the congratulations out of this uh, uh, hall. And there is a special place for the con uh, congratulation outside this uh, sal, please. Okay, uh, so thank you very much. And uh, is there any comments as this uh, site is, uh, will propose for the inscription? Uh, I presume that uh, there is no uh, comments. I, okay, I leave Norway, just please be brief, thank you. Brazil, I cannot see from far. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. I would like to start by commending Spain for the notable example now presented of continuous, dedicated, and consistent work in elaborating this dossier, observing the decisions of previous sessions of this committee, and acting in close coordination and cooperation with the advisory bodies. This constructive and forward-looking attitude culminated in the positive outcome we have before us now. The Caliphate city of Medina Sahara archaeological site offers extraordinary knowledge about the material culture of the development of the Western Islamic civilization of Andalus especially the Amayad cultural and architectural civilization, illustrating the significant period of the 10th century in the Iberic Peninsula. The Brazilian delegation would like to highlight the policy of minimal intervention and the conservation of the natural environment of the site as pillars of the authenticity of this property. It is also remarkable the involvement of governmental authorities, including departmental levels, to ensure the special plan for the protection of Medina Asahara, which reinforces the joint effort in meeting the management and protection requirements. Me complace in este punto. I am delighted, therefore, to congratulate the delegation of Spain and all the states parties that have contributed to this uh, nomination. Many thanks and congratulations to Spain. Thank you very much. In Norway, do you have any objection about the inscription? Because we want to move quickly in this uh, uh, file. Yes? No objection. No objection. Shall we move? Thank you very much. Just, uh, just a short remark. We. Um, Congratulate Spain uh, with this uh, inscription, and we support the state party to keep the well-established name of the property, Medina Azahara. Felicitaciones, España. Congratulations to Spain. Thank you very much. Uh, Tunisia, do you have any objection, or we go forward, please, because we don't have time. Do you have any objection? No, no, no. We do not have an objection, Madam Chairperson, but I do want to go back to the issue of the name of this site. The name of the site is presented in the file as tabled by the State Party, and Spain has already listed other sites whose origin uh, is, of course, in the Arabic language, but are listed uh, on the UNESCO World Heritage Site with the commonly known name today, so maybe we should uh, keep in mind the consistency of our listing. 
Thank you very much. I give France finally the, um, uh, the floor. Uh, as observer, please, you have two minutes. Merci. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. Now, I will not uh, make use of two minutes. I simply wanted to congratulate uh, Spain for this uh, magnificent file, the way it has been uh, presented and its contribution to World Heritage at large. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now I give the reporter the floor, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. We didn't receive amendments to this law of decision. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I therefore declare a draft decision 42, com 8B33 adopted. Adopted. There is no amendment. Now I give the floor to Spain, please. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. Spain would like to thank all the members of the committee as well as the observers uh, for the support uh, uh, they have given uh, to this uh, uh, nomination and as well uh, ECOMOS for a fruitful cooperation. This is a recognition of a joint work between the ministry, the uh, authorities of uh, Andalusia, of uh, uh, the municipality, and the efforts made in terms of conservation. Medina Zahar is a unique example of a caliphate city in uh, Europe, uh, and it is part of uh, our Andalusian uh, inheritance, of which we are so proud. And we are delighted to be able to share it uh, with all of you. Uh, over one uh, century of archaeology and conservation has uh, uh, led us to obtain this uh, intact urban uh, layout. And thanks to this uh, joint work, I would also like to uh, s mention the interpretation uh, that is center which is perfectly integrated uh, and which uh, enables a better understanding of the site. I'd now like to give the floor to the representatives of Andalusia and of the uh, Cordoba municipality who have worked so hard for this file and recognize uh, the work done by the technicians, the archaeologists, and all those that have provided support over uh, these many years. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you very much on behalf of the government of Andalusia for listing uh, uh, Medina Zahara as uh, world heritage. Uh, this is to us an immense satisfaction. This is a unique site uh, in terms of heritage. It is a symbol of tolerance and uh, living together between many peoples and cultures, and it has been an example of how communities can defend heritage. Uh, this uh, nomination uh, received the unanimous support of all the people of Cordoba and Andalusia. In Andalusia, we defend uh, heritage. We, all, we already have 13 sites listed as world heritage, and this one is a new encouragement to continue working to defend our heritage, because investing in heritage is investing in the future. Thank you. So, I would like, uh, on behalf of the city of Cordoba, thank uh, the World Heritage Committee of UNESCO for this uh, uh, inscription. This gives great trust to Cordoba, and I assure you that we'll be worthy of that trust. We will take care of Medina Zahara, as we have done uh, uh, for our uh, uh, mosque, uh, our ancient city, and our many other sites. Uh, and for any citizen of the world coming to our city, please know that this uh, will also be your own property, your own heritage. I am convinced that uh, uh, listing of sites such as that of Medina Zahara uh, are getting into the greatest category in the world, the only uh, caliphate city left in Europe. This uh, presents many uh, uh, symbols uh, at a time when living together between cultures is more necessary than, than at any time in the past. Thank you very much for your trust.